So here in this box, I have a limited edition gold PS2 that I bought from eBay. And there's a good chance you've never seen one before because it was only released in Japan. So here in the US, we never got one. And I actually did not even know it existed until a couple months ago when I was searching through eBay and, and saw this listing. Now I spent about $500 on this one, but that's because I got the one that's complete in box. It has the box, the stand, the PS2, uh, two controllers, uh, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm excited to open it up. Now let's waste no time. Let's go ahead and open this box up. And this thing came straight from Japan. I ordered it and um, you know, since it was a, a limited edition in Japan, they had a bunch of them in Japan on eBay. Now I couldn't find too many details about this console, but from looking online, it looks like it came out in December of 2003. And if you didn't know, the uh, first PS2 came out in March 2000, I believe. And from the website I was looking at, it looks like I released it 30,000 yen, which is like 200 and something US dollars. Uh, that's just from a Google search. I don't know if that's correct or not. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. Uh, one of my first home consoles was a PS2, but it was just the, you know, the regular black model. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they're 35? I honestly never realized it was that high, but if you start looking around when you're just walking through the store, uh, you'll start to see it. And it's simply an issue that's not talked about in our society enough, uh, but that's where Keeps comes in. Keeps offers clinically proven, research-backed treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair growth. Now, one of the coolest things about Keeps is the fact that you can do everything from home. Instead of taking a trip to the doctor's office and sitting there for, you know, three hours, you can spend that extra time you save playing Mario Kart on your handheld N64. And the other nice thing about Keeps is that they have physicians that can help you put together a routine based on your hair goals. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of your hair, Keeps has you covered. Because not only do they have clinically proven treatments to stop hair loss, Keeps also has an all natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system for you guys that just wanna have better hair. So are you ready to stop worrying about your hair loss and get back to gaming? Well, hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash jacobr or click on the link down below. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash jacobr. And here we go. So it looks like it's packaged pretty well. We got some foam peanuts, which I'm not a huge fan of. These are actually better than, um, I don't know if these, these are some sort of foam, but they're not the ones that like, crumble apart. The ones that crumble are terrible. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out of here. And it actually has a full layer of bubble wrap, which is kind of surprising considering it came from eBay. So it looks like the seller knows what they're doing. Uh, but let me go ahead and just take this box out so we can get a closer look at it. And something else to mention real quick is that PS2s by default are actually region locked. So I bought a Japanese PS2 game to play on this because it is a Japanese console. This console is supposed to come with a game, but I bought an extra one just in case. So let's go ahead and take this bubble wrap off. The, uh, the box is already looking pretty cool. All right, so here it is. And the big reveal. Ooh, that's a sweet box. I have no idea what the game this is. I don't know how to read that. I can't. Um, I, I can't read Japanese, so if you do know what any of the Japanese on this console box says, go ahead and let me know down below if any of it's useful. But yeah, I don't know how to read it, but this box looks pretty sweet. I don't know what this game is. It looks like a Transformers type of game. Um, it's got a little online sticker, so I guess it was an online game back when PS2 had online. Uh, you got your DVD uh, read and write drive. You got a symbol up here. I don't know what that means either. And then if you flip it around to the top, there's actually a handle, which I'm a huge fan of having handles on boxes. You know, a lot of times these console boxes are very heavy. And when you're trying to like move and uh, transfer your box, using the original box is the best way. And having a handle on it just makes it so much easier to carry. So if we look over here, we see what's included. We got the PS2, we've got AV cable, uh, power cable, memory card. There's a vertical stand that looks pretty cool. You got a disc, um, you got two controllers. The controllers are gold as well. So I'm pretty excited to check those out flip around to the back you get a bunch of stuff I can't read except for PlayStation 2 and the model is SCPH 5500 actually that's 55,000 so here's a look at what it looks like so as you can see it's gold it's like a golden matte console it's got a vertical stand that you can put it on uh, I got two controllers a blue memory card it looks super cool and down here you actually have a bunch of different accessories I guess you can get for the PS2 or you used to be able to get and let's take a look at the size see if there's anything useful it just says PS2 on the side. So it's a pretty, pretty sweet box. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. And I mean, I didn't really mention it, but as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. It's got, it's a little rough around the edges, but we'd expect that for being 20 years old. But overall, it's in really good condition. Now, if you open up the top, it looks like it's complete. So we've got our manual here, which looks like it's never been opened. Actually, it is, it does, it is open to the top, but um, you've got your full instruction booklet there we'll take a look at that later there we go yeah so the side pocket box is coming out now and i'm sure that has some controllers and stuff 
So now that the side pocket is gone, yeah, this is just one big box right here. So I thought this was a box on top, but it's just the, this is the box that has the PS2 in it. So first we'll look at this box right here and see what's inside of it. Like I said, I'm assuming there's controllers and cords and stuff in here, or maybe just the stand. Actually, I think it is just the stand. The stand in the game, that's all I see. So here's the game, and the game looks, or feels like it's in very good condition. You know, you can just, if you feel an old game, you can kind of just rub your hand across it and feel if it's like all gritty or if it's smooth. This one's very smooth, looks uh, pretty good. Looks like some sort of fighting game. And it is complete, and I don't see like any scratches at all. So whoever had this console took, took very good care of it so far, at least the game. And then we've got our stand right here, which is one of the cooler parts of this. All right, so here's the stand, and it's just made out of plastic. It looks pretty neat, though. It's got some screws in the bottom, so you can, I guess, remove these pillars if you want to. But basically, you stack it up like that and vertically place your PS2. But definitely looks pretty cool. I think it's themed with the with the game. And again, I don't I don't know anything about this game. I don't know anything about Japanese consoles at all. So uh, if you guys want to, if I'm missing anything here, definitely let me know down below. I did some, you know, quick research online, but couldn't find too much info. Uh, probably because I'm in the US, but it looks pretty cool. It's even got some rubber feet in the bottom so it doesn't slide around, which makes sense. So next up, let's take a look in this uh, big box, which should have the controllers and the console, and there are the controllers. Ooh, those things look nice. I wonder if these controllers work on a US, uh, a US system, because then I could keep the gold controllers, use them on, on my black US system and still play my US games <laughs> or North America games. Feels really good. All the buttons feel good. The joysticks or analog sticks look like they've like never been used and i'm a huge fan of this gold matte look you know it doesn't look dirty or scratched up or anything it's just matte and of course gold looks cool and then here is your second controller which looks just as good analog sticks are good buttons are all good and then down here we've got our av cord and our power cord pretty standard stuff and if we open this box up we should finally have our ps2 and there it is it's like I mean, this thing is complete in box. I got everything. You got the foam pads on the side. Got a little box right here with something. It's not even a box. It's just like a little way to protect that side of the console. And then it even has a little hole in the uh, the wrap right here, so you can see the cool design. If you didn't know, the PlayStation you can actually turn to turn the logo if you have it vertical or horizontal. So that's pretty cool. All right, so here it is. Let's go ahead and take it out of this little package. And I like this packaging they have. It keeps it in good condition as it seems and boom there it is oh that thing looks nice man huge fan of this golden ps2 it's got a few scratches there and you got a little small bundle of scratches right there it's actually a bunch of little tiny micro scratches all over it but it's a matte gold console so it's really hard to see those scratches like if i show it in this light right here it looks almost perfect um, now of course if i shine it straight in my light you can see some scratches but overall it looks pretty dang good for being a 20 year old console now let's take a look at the front here and like you saw earlier you got your little logo right here and you can do this on all ps2s where you can uh, basically flip the logo right there a little bit of foam down here got your two usb ports down here got your vents got two uh, slots for your controllers memory cards and by the way i thought this hand thing came with a memory card but i haven't seen one yet this side looks good as well i don't see really any issues there so here in the back now you can see your main power switch you got your power ports got your av out um, you got your fan and your vent right here. You got your expansion bay. And of course, you have your label right here. So SCPH55000. And as you can see, it says NTSCJ for Japan. It's 100 volts, which is slightly different than US, which is like 110, 120. But from what I read online, it actually uses the same exact power supply internally. So we should be good to go. And like I mentioned earlier, this only plays Japanese games. It doesn't play US games unless you mod it, uh, which actually might be a good idea to do to play all my games on it because this thing is pretty sweet. And then here in the bottom looks pretty good as well. We've got all four rubber feet, which I'm actually a huge stickler for. I, I hate when rubber feet go missing because it makes your console wobble and stuff. And then one other thing on the back here, you get your warranty seal, so it looks like it's never been opened up. And last but not least, this side also has all four rubber feet. And one more thing, I wanted to do a quick comparison of a North American model of the PS2 and the Japanese model. As you can see, they look pretty much the same. There is an extra port right here, but that might just be because this is a slightly different model. It is a fat model, but it's the SCPH-30001. As you can see, it's 120 volt. Now, I did read from someone online that the Japanese PS2 does have some size differences on the inside. So there's like some, I think the drive bay is a little bit different. Some screws a little bit different. Um, but externally, there's, you know, they're pretty much exactly the same. So while we're looking at these consoles, I wanted to mention that I do have a gaming website, jarabgaming.com, if you want to check it out, where I sell 
uh, various random stuff. It's not a huge website. I do have some consoles and I actually do trade in. So if you want to sell anything to me, I'll give you a price and I'll let you know if I want to buy it. Uh, but, you know, I sell a lot of random consoles. You know, if I buy something for a video and I don't want to use it anymore, I'll resell it on there for usually less than what I bought it for. I also, I, I sell some games, not a whole lot, to be honest. A lot of them just go on eBay. But if I come across interesting stuff like this box Pokemon, I'll put it up there or, um, you know, somewhat valuable games like Chibi Robo for the DS or this, uh, you know, boxed Game Boy Color. Not all the stuff you're looking at is posted yet, but um, or you got your two gold Legend of Zelda games for um, for the NES. You know, if I come across interesting stuff like that, I'll post it on there. But for just like random everyday games like Cooking Mama 3, I'll just post that on eBay because to be honest, I can't sell that quickly enough on my website because I just don't have the reach to sell all those random games. But yeah, just other games like Resident Evil 4, Playboy Mansion, stuff like that, I'll post, I'll post on my website. So let's go ahead and plug in this bad boy and see how it works. I got it on the vertical stand actually, so let me show you that real quick. I'm um, sorry, I'm trying to swing my camera around on a tripod but it looks pretty cool in the vertical stand and I'm actually pretty confident in it because it's got some metal some uh some like pads on it that keep it in place and it it only rock around if you try to rock it around so it's I'm not too concerned I don't really like having my consoles in vertical position most of the time but this one is actually pretty nice and I apologize for all the wires in the background um kind of got my capture card going and stuff so we're trying to work that out let's go ahead and turn this thing on though and make sure it works all right so we got a red light press the green button up there and as you can see we've got two two lights now let's see if it boots up and there it is cool we got our standard startup screen and boom main menu very recognizable but a bunch of Japanese lettering that I don't know how to read and oh I forgot so in in Japan uh, so if you're familiar with the North American uh, PS2 controller basically you use X to enter and uh, circle to back out it's opposite in Japan so you use the circle to like enter basically and X to back out. So if we click circle here, it goes onto our memory card screen, which by the way, I figured out why I don't have a memory card. I looked at the listing and apparently this listing did not include a memory card for whatever reason. Uh, it was pretty clear in the listing. So it's just my fault for forgetting, forgetting about that. And like here, oops, I just, I did it again accidentally. I pressed X to back out when I'm supposed to be um, using O. So you can do widescreen, four, three ratio, other stuff that I can't read. I like vaguely remember some of this stuff and Another thing I just realized is that the uh, circle on the screen is stationary, so I think the clock or the battery on the uh, in the PS2 needs to be replaced to fix that, so I guess I will have to open up this console and, and get that fixed. So I guess let's just go ahead and start out a game, and we'll try the game that came with it. Again, I'm not sure what kind of game this is. It looks like a some sort of Transformers game, but let's go ahead and put it in and uh, make sure it works. I'm always concerned about putting... Uh, discs into a uh, vertical console because it feels feels like it's going to fall out, but worked just fine that time. All right, so here we go, and now we're to the point where I just have to guess and check because I'm not sure what this says. I'm assuming it's asking about the memory card, which I don't have one plugged in, so I guess I just pressed do not save, and there's some English. But yeah, let's boot this thing up and see what, see what kind of game this is. All right, to the main menu. Can't read anything, so I'm just going to click on the first thing I see because I'm assuming that's like the main play now mode. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons, guys. All right, so it looks like they're gonna drop me on a map. I'm not sure if this is like some sort of battle royale type of game, which would be kind of funny because battle royale games didn't become super popular until you know the last few years when Fortnite made it extremely popular. But I guess these types of games still existed in the early 2000s. All right, yeah, so it dropped me, and man, I'm I'm a giant. These are buildings right here, and I'm flying up on top of them. Oh, I can fly. Nice. I'm shooting at this dude. I'm pressing random buttons trying to fire at him. I just pulled out a sword. That's crazy. I don't know where all the people are, but I guess they evacuated because they saw these big giant robots coming in. No idea what I'm doing, but it's pretty pretty cool. I can fly and land on top of buildings. Oh, I guess I ran out of juice. But uh, yeah, again, this looks like a Transformers type of game. I don't think it actually is Transformers, but it looks pretty cool. All right, so that game works. Let's go ahead and try out another game. And I kind of want to try a North American game just to see what happens. So I have... GTA 3 here so let's just plug that in and see what it does I'm guessing it'll just give me either an error or maybe try to boot up I'm not sure but we'll go ahead and put that in and just see what it does all right so it is in now it should be reading if we go on this screen it should give us a status so that little flashing at the bottom oh it's loading up oh there we go so I guess it gives you the red screen of death whenever you put the wrong game in so yeah, it's always scary to see the red screen of death on your PS2, but at least that time we know why, why we got it. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty sweet PS2. The gold matte 
look to it is, is awesome. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you think of this video. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.